buddies. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Sandy and welcome to my Nutty Nook. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm sending out positive vibes and well wishes to anybody who's having a hard time. I've got, I've got a couple friends. I've got more than a few friends out there that I know are having a hard time and life is not always easy and we do the best we can and sometimes sometimes it can be really tough and i just want you to know that i understand and i'm here for you and we support each other and i just hope i'm i'm just i'm sending you all all the well wishes and hope that things get better for you soon so here's monster i have a dollar tree haul for you i would lift up the whole the whole little bag it's not a lot there's some food, so um, I'm gonna start with the food. I got I got some burritos. I'm gonna go ahead and show those now. So these are these are good. This big burrito, Dollar Tree, dollar twenty-five, eighteen grams of protein, seven hundred and forty calories. It's a lot of calories a lot of calories but I can usually only eat half of this anyway um, so I got this and this and this is a different brand I don't know how this is gonna be uh, 15 grams of protein 450 calories Okay, I'm not 100% sure that those burritos cost $1.25. I'm not 100% sure. So I don't wanna say that they did when they didn't. I'm not sure, but they are good. They are a good source of protein. Um, they're tasty. Now, the new one, I'm not, I don't know about the new one. Okay, now I'm gonna continue with food. Um, so we like these lemon cookies. Uh, one pack is 160 calories. Um, I, I'm, I'm doing a calorie thing for my wellness journey for my weight loss. Um, that's how I know how to do it. And I, and to have, to have treats that are, um, yes, I, I, I want to get more fruits and vegetables and things like that as snacks, but this is, but I'm also want to have an option of this because if I deprive, and I'm sure a lot of you guys understand, I've just learned if I don't allow myself to have the things that I really want every now and then I will, I will really mess up. I'm just going to say it like that because I don't want to use a different word. Anyway, 160 calories you for you get two cookies I believe you get two cookies I think so um, six packs no six you get four six packs of four sandwiches so that's not bad and you could just eat two and that would be like I like to have my I like to keep my snacks really the ideal is 100 calories or less on the snacks so if you, if you divide that in two, that's that's 80 calories. So if you only have two of the four cookies, anyway. Um, or if you're struggling with um, eating enough and having enough calories, you know, I, I mean, this is a, and those burritos, those burritos are really high in calories. So they're also high in protein. So if you're having trouble, and you know everything's so expensive now so that's a good deal for those burritos um okay and then and now a lot of this stuff is for my husband as usual and he's gone and eaten and taken off we i've had this sitting around for a little while so this is for both of us these uh toast cheese sandwich crackers Again, it's six packs of four sandwiches, 140. So same thing. 
and you know, peanut butter is a nice uh, source of protein. Nice little snack, nice little thing for him to take with him to work. Here's his um, Haribo that he usually gets. He's probably already eaten one. Um, he got combos. He's eaten those already. Um, now these are for me. And when I went to go and see my mom, I, I let her have, I was like, let's here, I want you to try these because she likes these other chocolate covered almonds that are seasonal. Um, and they're, they're super, super expensive and almonds are super expensive. And this little, this is not a big bag, but it's $1.25. And these are really, really good. Anyway, I, yeah, I was like, here, I brought these to share with you for you to try them. She ate the whole bag. <laughs> hey, I've done this. I, you know, it's, it's, it's like the, that's the one problem with this. And I've used little tactics, like trying to put them in this little cute container and everything else. It doesn't necessarily work. It makes me think twice, but what I usually end up doing is, I usually end up eating the whole bag too. I'll take the lid off of the container. You know what, let me go get the container. Okay, I've gotten two of these. So here's a container and it's four little babies and the lid comes off and that's what I usually do. I usually take the whole lid off. I don't start off that way. <laughs> and then, you know, so what it is, is it's for, what it's meant for is for you to have your baby or your toddler and then have snacks in there and then put the little hand in there and for, to make it harder for me to get my little hand in there. Well, I haven't been using it properly. Like I'll start off, put my little hand in there and then I'm like, oh, you know, <laughs> but I'm um, getting better. And it's a, it's a thing to work on. And I mean, it does help a little bit. And it is, it's just one of those things I've just got to get my mind. I, I've just, again, it's not a good idea to deprive myself of these things for me. Um, I've just got to, I've just got to actually use this the way it's meant to be used. And, and sometimes there, I haven't eaten a whole bag every time, but been times where I'll eat the amount that I, what's on here. Okay, eight pieces is 160 calories. So I try to do four pieces. Um, according to this, there's, the whole bag is 400 calories. So, um, you know, I, I, there's been times where I'll start with four pieces. I'm like, ooh, just let me have four more. And if I'll go do an exercise or something like that, I'll let myself have four more. But then there's times where I'm just kind of like, and I just, eat the whole bag <laughs> out of here. I just take a little. But I have been getting better. I have been getting better. But anyway, so maybe not the best idea of a snack for somebody who's on a weight loss journey um, because of the calories, but got some more Miracle Nail. I love this stuff. This is a new, um, new and improved version. I don't know what makes it new and improved, but it's Miracle Nail. Meryl Cornell looks good. I've got nail polish on that um, I got. I painted my nails. Me and my mom painted my nails when I was over visiting with her. So that's uh, actually her nail polish that my. Oh yeah. I, well, I was gonna tell you that on self care Sunday, but I'll and I'll tell you about it more. But I'll just let you know. I got to see my nephews. I got to see both my nephews. Um, so then we've got this the works toilet bowl cleaner and they had they had like a name brand um but it was smaller and like it, you didn't get as much um so we went with this to try it out and uh i'll let you know i'll, I'll let you know uh if this is any good or not i don't know that i've seen this 
if I've seen it, I've forgotten about it. Um, and, oh, also got some more uh, top coat. It's just the same top coat I've gotten in the past from there. Um, ran out of Q-tips. It's not a whole lot of Q-tips, but I think it's not bad for $1.25. I use my Q-tips like for makeup, for my ears when you're not supposed to do that. But anyway, um, to cleaning, cleaning my uh, ear jewelry. Uh, earrings. I don't know why that was such a hard thing thing to come up with. Anyway, um, this is pretty. I think that this is okay for a dollar twenty five. Two hundred and twenty five swabs. And then I scored, and I got some of this Arm and Hammer um, Tropical Mango Liquid Hand Soap. I'm gonna. Mm. You know what it smells like? What it smells like to me is like a nectarine, fresh peaches. It smells really, really good to me. I love, I love that kind of smell. Maybe that's what a mango smells like. I don't know that I've ever had a mango, but smells to me very much like fresh peaches, uh, nectarine, smells really good. And I'm almost out of soap, so we needed some more soap and I wasn't gonna be trying to get some Bath & Body Works soap. I have some still, but it's like Halloween themed and I'm trying to save it. Okay, so speaking of Halloween themed, kind of. Spiced pumpkin! Now let me take a, I should have smelled this in the store, but I didn't. I just got so excited I grabbed it. So we needed soap, we needed some more soap anyway. And then I saw this and I'm like, and look, I like I like the look of this too. It's it's uh, what do you call it, chic or whatever. Of course, I do have little containers that I usually put these in, but not all the time. Let's see what this smells like. Ooh, I don't. I actually prefer this smell of this. Like I love the smell of peaches and nectarines and stuff like that. I also love spiced pumpkin, and that is, I mean, it is that it, it's not, I'm not saying that it smells bad. I'm just saying I like this one more than this one, but this one is also really good. It smells really good, really strong. Really strong spiced pumpkin smell. Let's get this back. I like, I also, on this one, Oops. And I mean, maybe, you know, it, like I, I think maybe we were in a rush or something. Like if you have time, is, there's nothing wrong. As long as you're not like sticking your finger in it or something, cause that's not nice. That's gross. You know, you're contaminating it for other people. But for you to like do like this and, and smell it and then put the lid back on, make sure you got the lid put back on right. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. If you want to smell it to see if you like it or not. Hmm. It wants to be, okay, there we go. Another thing I like about this is I really like the pump on this one. I like the pump on this one better than this pump. You see, I like that big fat pump. Delta Home. Yeah, and then this, of course, is a name brand, Arm & Hammer. And then the Peace de la Resistance. I'm probably, that is probably really, really terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. I did the best I could. In the plus section, Black Cat Apothecary. Now we have our own black cat and, and 
my husband made the comment of that's all we really need for Halloween is a black cat and we already have one <laughs> but you know this this can be used this is year-round and I think I, I really like it five dollars they had other designs so this was all at the Dollar Tree and I did not do a shop with me or come with me video for that one. I, I do believe we were in some kind of hurry. I think what it was is we stopped there. Yeah, that's what it was. We stopped there to get me to get some more burritos and chocolate covered almonds. And then ran into this other stuff that we need. Like we, I already knew that we needed some more hand soap. We needed some more, I needed some more, uh, top coat needed some more you know all the stuff we needed some more so uh, we weren't just going there just for the chocolate covered almonds we're going there to get some burritos because they're cost effective and the chocolate covered almonds and then we got hem stack we got all this other stuff this is the one thing that was not on the list and i i went down that plus aisle thinking i just want to look I was just actually looking for one specific thing that I don't think I'm ever going to find again. Um, and I was, and he, I cannot have, you know, we've been um, doing different things to be a little bit more, to get caught up on our finances and we've been doing well. And, and he said that it was okay for me to get it. So I got it. And I've been doing really good. I've been, I've been doing, I've been getting a lot of luck and uh, good deals on the Timu stuff. And like not really having to, I've already, I think I've already talked about that a lot about how I'm basically getting stuff for free. And anyway, yay. <laughs> and yes, this is not just a Halloween. This is an all the time. And it matches my decor in here year round so that's everything that we got at the dollar tree um they they're you know if you are i mean i know everybody is uh struggling and i, I have heard on the news recently about how some of these fast food places are doing deals and stuff because people aren't going to eat at fast food as much because the prices are too high and I don't know about you or anybody else but some of the reason that I don't eat as well as I want and as I should is because it's too expensive it's expensive fruit is expensive eating healthy is expensive and right now and I'm not trying to complain or be a downer I'm just telling it how it is I mean I'm not I'm not telling y'all anything you don't know I'm not um uh, just eating even 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 junk junk stuff is too expensive now i mean uh so these fast food places are doing deals and stuff because um they're not getting the business that they used to get because it's better to go and make your own food like it like there was a time when not all that long ago where it was more expensive to just cook your own food so it's actually harder to eat healthier you know and healthier foods are more expensive it's always been that way so now even even the junk is too expensive or super expensive so i mean i'm just saying that the fast food places are doing deals right now in case you didn't know to try to draw people back into their business because they've been charging too much. And, you know, if you're in a situation where that's what you can afford, that's what you can afford. You gotta do the best you can. But, and those burritos do have a lot of calories. And that's, but that's just one example of, the only reason I'm talking about this is I'm trying to say, you can get decent food and decent things to make, eat, to cook with at the Dollar Tree like the burritos already made you know um there's soup there's spices there's you know there's all kinds of things that you can get 
to make meals with that might be more affordable than even going to a fast food place right now. Maybe not if you're going after those deals, but it's still, it's still too, it's still just too expensive to get regular food. So that's just, you know, every now and then I'm, I'm going to get some fruit. I'm going to get, I'm going to try, I'm trying my best, trying my best. The food part of it, it's difficult. It's difficult right now when we're in this recession. I mean, um, I think that that's accurate. Anyway, hopefully, um, hopefully things will get better and I hope everybody else, I hope you all are able to, you know, nourish yourself properly, you know, and as far as I can think of, Dollar Tree is probably the most inexpensive way that you can feed yourself and your family right now. Um, but I will also say that a dollar twenty-five it adds up quick. It adds up quick. Um, anyway, uh, I do appreciate you and. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time, Nutty Buddies. Bye, Nutty Buddies.